Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. So, I just wanted to come to you real quick. You know, nothing fancy today. Uh, just one take here on my cell phone. But, I just wanted to tell y'all that you remember a couple weeks ago, or months ago now, I pre-ordered that Nicola Badger truck. Okay? Well, I... I kind of just FOMO'd into it because I really always wanted to get the Tesla Cybertruck, but it was just a deposit, and, and just in case something happened and I changed my mind, I wanted to go ahead and put the reservation down just in case, but the final nail in the coffin came the other day when it came out that GM was gonna build the Nikola Badger truck and I'm not a huge GM fan and all that short seller information come out with the you know them saying they rolled the the semi down the hill to make it look like it's driving and then Nikola came out and like well we never said that it was driving under its own power y'all just assumed but whatever that that's neither here nor there all that just put a super bad taste in my mouth and you know what I am done with Nicola I sent them this email here let me see if I can pull it up I said I would like to cancel my pre-order I'm not a fan of the direction the company is headed I thought Nicola was developing amazing battery and fuel cell technology instead I am just pre-ordering a GM vehicle with a Nikola nameplate on it. No thanks. And that was on September 9th, I think it says up there. That's real small on my screen. And on September 13th, Nikola finally sent me a generic message back. I'm guessing that a lot of people were canceling their pre-orders when they got this news because it just it looks super shady Nikola you know I like the look of Nikola Nick Nikola truck okay I think it'll make a nice looking truck but the company just seems super shady Rivian I actually don't like the way the Rivian looks that much but I know their truck is gonna be solid because I've seen them testing it. It is a real truck. It actually exists and drives unlike the the Badger. You know, it just exists in people's minds and in pictures and on paper. But anyway, on the 13th, Nicola finally got back. They're like, okay, confirm some stuff for us. And uh, I confirmed it. And they're like, yeah, generic reply. We're sorry to see you go, but... You'll have your deposit back in five to seven days, which I haven't got back yet. So we'll see if they come through on that deposit. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick update here and let y'all know that I am no longer going to be on the Nicola Badger um, pre-order reservation list. I won't be attending their... Uh, little party they're gonna have in December in Arizona or New Mexico or wherever it's gonna be and I'm just done with this company um, I wouldn't recommend them to, to anybody not on the pre-order maybe once they prove their self and actually you know I don't have any I know GM is gonna be able to produce this vehicle and it's gonna be okay just like all their other vehicles but I'm just super disappointed in Nick Nicola as a company i that short seller information and you know trying to to hide that they were pushing their vehicle down the hill that's just super shady and I'm out so, Tesla Cybertruck all the way. This is Crazy Postman coming to you live from my car. Thanks for watching. And I'm actually a sneak preview. I'll be making a video tomorrow about charging at Electrify America. So, 
look for that tomorrow night or in the next few days that'll be dropping and I actually will probably be making another video because today September 18th is the exact one year anniversary for Tessie here uh, one year ago today I got this uh, Tesla and right now I have uh, how many miles do I have on here oh there we go I don't even know how to find the mileage 10,900 miles so by the end of tomorrow that'll be over 11,000 because I'm gonna have to put some miles on to go find this Electrify America station but thanks for watching this is the crazy postman I will see you in the next video